How have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very well, actually. Um, very well. I've been traveling for all over, so but it's really good to be back in Seoul and see you in your um, in your own country because last time we saw each other was in Los Angeles. So. Yes, I know. I'm so happy to have you here. So congratulations on opening your first flagship store in Korea. Um, can you tell me, like, is there one aspect or element to it that you focused on the most in terms of preparation? aim was to present to our client here in Seoul uh, the face and the DNA of Max Mara and it's, um, at its best. Uh, and so also to present the capsule collection for tonight, I'm quite excited. That's limited, right? It's very limited, yes. It's only sold in that, uh, in that store. So. I think you're going to like it. I can't wait. Yeah, it's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> People often mention Max Mara as a brand that transcends time and generations. How do you feel about this? You know, I'm very proud about that. I do believe that a garment from Max Mara can be in a woman's uh, own wardrobe and in her own life uh, mm. uh, for a non-specific amount of time. Uh, it's, uh, it's a source of pride. That was a great answer. What about you? What is your first memory related to Max Mara? There are so many iconic coats, but the Manuela is my mother's favorite and it's also mine, so that's the first thing that comes to mind. It's so classic, so versatile, and it's irreplaceable, I feel. When I think of Max Mara and our DNA mm. and uh, sort of the aesthetic of our brand, uh, I have in mind this elegant, chic uh, mm. way of like, you know, wearing and empowering your own beauty. And I think that you uh, really embody all the qualities mm. that, uh, to me, a Max Mara woman should have. Mm -hmm. How do you relate to the brand? How do you relate to, you know, the aesthetic of Max Mara? First of all, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, I believe that Max Mara has such a strong identity and a strong voice. And I love that you're so actively involved in women's movements. But for me, on a personal level, when I got to look into Max Mara as a company, I saw you, I saw the team of women behind this brand, and that's what really was inspiring for me. They're all people that embody this ideal and I just want to help carry that voice to other parts of the world like Korea. That's amazing and thank you for saying that because I do believe that part of the strength of Max Mara really lies behind that, yeah. you know, the fact that we all believe in it. Yeah, there's like this camaraderie. Yes. <laughs> so Max Mara over the years through your collection, you can see that it represents powerful women, right? And also through the sponsorship of events like WIF, you can see that you're actively engaged in women's movements. Is there a specific reason why? You know, it really is part of Max Mara's DNA, the idea of like creating garments to to make them feel comfortable and the, the idea of like the suiting which was thought for a working woman or someone that really wanted to have garments which defined and supported her in her choices. So mm -hmm. as a brand, uh, because the women are our strength, uh, yeah. we want to do anything in our power to support uh, their affirmation and ambition mm -hmm. to you know, set their own bar higher. Garment can also be a way of expressing yourself. Yes, yes. I think your family has done an absolutely amazing job of carrying that idea through the fashion house. And for us, it's really about empowering women and making them feel good about themselves. Exactly. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Thank awesome you. Awesome job. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you.